This guy is still in Ghana, so excuse the the background. Hence the reason why I'm using this. Actually, it's a camera which is in my MacBook. Pretty cool. But anyways, um, I want to talk about Saturday. Saturday is a big day, very big day. Some people are getting married. People are going away, uh, maybe for a weekend break. For me, I'm gonna be watching Arsenal versus Tottenham. This is the biggest game ever, guys. This is monumental. Yeah, monumental. I even spell it. Monumental. The fact that this is the London derby. I'm not even gonna be there. I'm supposed to be working there, but it's not happening. I'm just gonna be watching it from here. And I was just thinking, oh, what could I do, like, for a video? What could I do? I'm thinking, well, what is so important about this derby. When I think about Arsenal and Spurs, <laughs> I don't know, is it the fact that Arsenal were completely letting me down left, right and centre? Called world class players that perform for their country, as we recently saw, Lacazette, Ozil, Iwobi against Argentina, scoring those two goals, not making Mas Mascarano, but then when they come back to Arsenal, it's just, it's not, it's not good. So it's quite interesting to see like the two contrasts. Then it made me think, okay, actually I know why. It's because of the manager. You know, like people will play differently for under different people. So a lot of the players are playing better for their country because they're not playing under Wenger. Like, what is it that Wenger's actually telling them to do? I don't know. But anyway, we've got Spurs. They seem to be just trailblazing. I wouldn't say trailblazing like Man City, but they're doing well. They're being very consistent, and that's something that I always look out for, is consistency. Even when they're not playing at their best, they still, they still manage to get a win, uh, which can be quite annoying as an Arsenal fan. But as a neutral, obviously, you know, you have to respect it. Um, what they recently done against Real Madrid as well. Sorry, I'm slouching. Um, what they recently done against Real Madrid, that was pretty good. Um... Not as good as us because obviously we won at the Bernabeu, but they managed to beat them at home um, quite convincingly. Um, doesn't matter if you've got the best player in the world, it all depends on that one day, that one moment. And once you hit that pitch, once the whistle blows to once it ends, it all depends on that. What you do uh, within those 90 minutes, that's what counts. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that regardless of all the negativity that's going on with Arsenal's their performances and how it's up and down, I'm hoping that they can just pull something out of the bag and do something. That's more or less it. Just a little introduction. Well, not even an introduction. I've done videos before, like, as you can see. So just please subscribe to my channel. Should have some more videos coming up, especially when, once I get back into London. I'll have much more content for you. But thank you for taking the time out. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Peace.